All right, Shalom. We're the brothers of Great Millstone of Branch Out Des Moines. First and foremost, we like to give all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Chakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all you brothers who preach in the gospel and truth and in sincerity, all is in charity. And um, as you can see, the title of the lesson is entitled To Keep Them Alive in Famine. And it's pretty much a response lesson to uh, the clip that Elder Yashwamba had uploaded to his page. You know, he had instructed brothers to. Uh, to post um, scriptures, you know, on a comment board, you know, in order to uh, give the elect hope that the Lord is going to continue to uh, feed us and uh, sustain us in the time of trouble, man. You know, so it was just in, you know, in, in, our, in our spirit that, man, hey, we, we, we just put something on wax through the spirit and power of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah. Because there's a lot of guys out here, man, that's trying to cast doubt and spread fear amongst uh, uh uh let's start with that i know I, I know we spoke about that psalms 33 let's start with um the most i have not given us the spirit of fear but of a uh but of a yep. so, uh, this is um <clears throat> this is second timothy chapter one and verse seven it says for yahweh by shami Shah hath not given us the spirit of fear but of power and of love and of a sound mind and of a sound mind man Right, you go into that word sound. Yep. It says, "And of a sound mind." It's talking about our heart. It's talking about our spirit. You see? Go ahead. It says, uh, "Soforinismos." Soforinis it says, "An admonishing or calling of soundness to mind, to moderation and self-control." Right, man. So basically, it's talking about uh, mm. when, when something that's sound is whole, something that's sound is healed. Yeah. And that's through what? That's through the discipline. That's through the self-control of a sound mind, you see? So when we're in different situations, like it says in Sirach, the second chapter, make not haste in a time of trouble, right? It says, um, man, I don't want to butcher it. Can, uh, yeah, can you great Baba Kusha? You know? That's man. why it says he has not given us the spirit of fear, but of what? But of power and of a sound mind, man. Yeah. So that when these trials and tribulations come upon us, we can be stable. And let me let me get that in Isaiah 33. Can yeah, I go, yeah, yeah, go yeah ahead, so I went into the root word, which is uh, right, because it said so, so farinismos, and then I went to the root word, it's uh, G4994, uh, so forinzo. It says to restore one to his senses, to control discipline, to hold one to his duty, you know. Yeah, restore one to his senses, man. Knowing that the Lord is uh, 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 omnipotent, omnipotent, however you want to pronounce it, man. It speaks about in, um, I believe it's Sirach 19. It uh, talks about uh, the knowledge of his omnipotency, roughly yep. paraphrasing it, man. You know, understanding that our Lord is all powerful, man. You see? And we ought not to make the same mistake that the wicked uh, generation of our people did in the wilderness, man. How they limit the Lord. A brother right. can get that on deck as well. That's what these guys are doing, man. These guys are trying to limit y'all by some y'all was shy. Like we got to get on a fucking plane and go to Africa in order to be sustained. Like the Lord ain't got the power and the might to sustain us here, man. That's right. Yeah, this is Isaiah 33 and 6. This is the precept that, that, that sound mind. It says, in wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of Yahweh by some y'all was shy is his treasure, man. So going back into uh, 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 that disciplined mind, man. Mm -hmm. So when all hell starts to break loose, we're not going to panic. We're not going to allow our mind to wander and think, well, what about this and that? No, we're trusting on uh, within these precepts. You want to hit that Sirach, brother? Uh, Con, this Sirach 2 and uh, 1. It says, my son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Set thy heart all right and constant, constantly endure. Uh-huh. And make not haste in the time of trouble. And make not haste in a time of trouble, man. That's that what? That's that disciplined mind. That's that sound mind. Go ahead. It says, verse 3, it says, Cleave unto him and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. That's it, man. That's it. You know? So when all hell starts to break loose, all we have to do is trust in these precepts, man. Trust in these words. Because Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah said he won't put more on us than what we can handle. Right? And with the and with the temptation, will he make a way to escape? So the Lord is going to guide us in a proper way. Uh, Second Andrew 16, uh, 74, you got something? Yeah, uh, this is Psalms chapter 78 and verse. Shit, I'll I'll just I'll start at uh 
38, it says, but he, being full of compassion, speaking about Yahweh, it says, forgave their iniquity and destroyed them not. Yea, many a time turned he his anger away and did not stir up all his wrath, for he remembered that they were but flesh. And that's what the brother's saying, that the, hey, the, the Lord's always going to make a way out, you know, which is through him. Hey, the, the Lord's full, hey, the scriptures say he's full of compassion, of tender mercy. His, his mercy endure forever, right? Yeah, and that going is into the mercy he had on those niggas in the wilderness, man. Exactly, yep. You know, how they were provoking him, how they uh, how they kept talking shit, mm -hmm. you know? Go ahead. Yeah, so it says, uh, for he remembered that they were but flesh, a wind that passed away and cometh not again. How oft did they provoke him in the wilderness and grieve him in the desert? Yea, they turned their they turned back and tempted the Most High, and limited the Holy mm. One of Israel. And that's what that guy is doing, man. Yep. You know, talking about well, we got to turn back and go back to Africa. That's going back into Egypt. That's the same mentality. Yeah. Oh, we're ready to look at the resources and the gold and all this. Yeah. What the fuck is you talking about, bro? Here it is, America's gold and silver, America's uh, 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 riches and wealth is not going to save them in that day. Yeah, I was just thinking. So yeah. what the fuck gold got to do with it? it, it you know, riches, riches profit, profit not in the day of yep. evil. That's you exactly know what I'm saying? So yeah, whatever that dude is saying, man, he's going like, he's going off, man. That's the only thing you can say. But he, I, he cast in doubt, yeah, bro. He's going off. You know, that's what that guy is doing, man. Yeah. And our job as overseers of the flock, according to Acts the 20th chapter. What are we going to remember? Look, look, we looking well to our herds, man. That's it. That's the spirit. You know? We going to instill that hope, that faith, and, 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 and that promise into our people, man, because that's what the Lord has given us via these words, man. That's it. Also, he said what? Go, go, go ahead with your precept, brother. Kind of got one. It says, Isaiah uh, 41 and 14, Fear not, thou worm Jacob, and ye men of Israel. So, yes, we know that we're in a low estate. We know that we're not the richest people. Or we know that... Uh, what we don't have the riches of this world like that dude saying or whatever, you know, but we know that we're in a um, What is it in a docile state? We know that we're in a defenseless state, you know, so we we know that man But it says what the Lord says says I will help thee said the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai thy Redeemer the Holy One of Israel and that's the hope that we have we know that we're in this lower state We don't got that much world worldly riches, but guess what we understand and we have faith in the words of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai because it's written you know? Yeah, you know? It's I will help thee. Right. Uh, is that the one where it says, I will help thee, I will uphold thee with my right hand? I think that's the first. Uh, give me a second. Because the Lord, bro, uh, man, it's all throughout the precepts, man. You know? But while you're looking for that, this Jeremiah 15 and 11, it says, Yahweh Sham Yahweh Shah said, Verily, which means truly, it shall be well with thy remnant. Hmm. Verily, I will cause the enemy to entreat thee well in the time of evil and in the time of affliction man that's written bro what is this nigga talking about bro romans 15 and 4 says what what is written the fourth time is written for our learning that we through paces and comfort of the scriptures might have hope so we can read about our forefathers in different uh, uh, situations look at jeremiah was he not there in the besiege of, 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 of jerusalem how did the Lord reward him? How did the Lord take care of him? The, the captain of the guard had favor on Jeremiah, man. That's it. Joseph being thrown into prison, did not he get favor from the head uh, from the head prison warden, man? Come on now. The fuck is this dude talking about, man? See, these dude, this dude is casting doubt, man. Once again, and these niggas that's casting doubt, bro, the Lord is going to deal with these niggas. And, 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 man, bro, you know? Let me slip it says, it says, uh, just to precept this real yeah, quick, yeah, it says yeah. in the book of Proverbs that when a man's ways please the Lord, he make, make even his enemies, enemies to be at peace, peace with him, Come man. On, this is, Come this on. is Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah. He controls the hearts and the, uh, and the spirits of men. That's it. <laughs> you see? He put it in the spirit of Cyrus to allow us to, uh, to rebuild. rebuild the temple, man. Yeah. We dealing with the omnipotent power, man. But go ahead, brother. He allowed what? Um, well, he put the spirit upon Alexander the Great to have favor upon us. You know what I'm saying? So the, the Lord controls everything, man. That's the, like the like the brother back to wool back to that uh, Psalm 78. It, it's doubting him. It's limiting him. I mean, you can't do that, man. All, he's all powerful for a reason. But let me just slip this in. It's all quick. different ways that the Lord can 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 sustain us and take care right. of us, man. Oh, yeah. You know, 
once again, he can have our, our enemies take care of us, man, in certain situations. He can have ravens come feed us like with Elijah. Man, and these are, uh, yeah. uh, these are all different accounts in the scriptures, man. You know? Yahweh Shah multiplied. Bro, we might we might just have a, 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 a can of soup, a, you know, a bag yeah. of beans. A bag of rice that keeps mm. refilling. And right. able to replenish itself, man. Yahweh Shah fed over 5,000, it says 5,000 men beside women and children. So over 5,000 individuals ate, man, two different times, man. They had leftovers. And, and had fragments of leftovers, baskets wow. full of leftovers, man. <laughs> with, uh, was, was that Elijah with uh, uh, the barley cake, the widow woman? Yeah, that was a and, 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 and how it kept, uh, not the oil, that's with Elisha. Okay. It was a... Uh, um, Right, she had one cake. Yeah, she yeah, had, yeah, yeah. She was about to die. Her and her her son yeah. uh, and, and Elijah was like, "Nah, Elijah. just fix me this." And you know, in that in that meal, continue. You know, it, it kept replenishing itself, man. Yeah. See, this is the power we dealing with, man. You see, and this is the hope that we're stealing within our people through these words. You see, because these this is the record right here, man. So we have to believe the record. Here it is. All these precepts and all these things written within the scriptures. All these different scenarios and things playing out within the scriptures. You, you got a nigga talking about, oh, we got to do this. What the fuck is you talking about, man? man we we going to trust upon you. How about Shami I was shot? Miss Lockie, yeah, brother. Hey, I, I was going to say real quick that not our forefathers called the Most High, Yahweh Yara'ah. You know, the Lord provides, man. Yara'ah, he sees. Okay, no, which one I'm thinking? Salakia. There, there's another one. I'll look, I'll look for it. Well, got one, of, one of his names that they will call him is, is the Lord provides, you know, but it's like, go ahead. It says Sirach, uh 2 and 10. It says, look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? So that's a question for this nigga, right? So go back in the scriptures and see if I, any of our forefathers were confounded, man, right? And it says, um, or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Who and or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? So that's a that's a question that, hey, that all that all that um the answers to that man ain't hey, none of them. Look at the scriptures, man. Like back to that Romans fifteen and four, right? Like the brother was giving different examples. Jeremiah, uh, uh, you know, um, Paul, Peter, you know, these different examples that the Lord has take care of uh, take care of his men. And well, you don't think he's gonna do it this time? This time is gonna be a glorious exit, man. You know. It says, uh, I'm going to keep reading just two more, uh, one more verse. It says, for the Lord is full of compassions and mercy, long, so long suffering and very pitiful and forgiveth sins and saveth in the time of affliction. So yes, when we're coming to all hell breaking loose, that's a time of affliction, right? So the Lord is going to save the ones that are predestined to be saved, man. So this person uh, throwing doubt and everything, man, hey, hey, screw you, man. You know, that's not the spirit to push out to our people and give them hope. You know, mm -hmm. well, I got something to back you up because that's a rock two and ten said what man look at the generations right. of old and see right this is the uh, uh, book of Mac first Maccabees two mm -hmm. and sixty one mm -hmm. it says and thus consider ye throughout all ages that none that put their trust in him shall be overcome man that's a promise that's Isaiah ten says we we shall no longer stay upon him that smote right. us but we, we shall stay, stay upon the holy one of right. Israel in truth man. That word stay goes into a support, you know, or a trust. See, we're trusting upon you. How about Shem Yahweh Shah to take care of us in these times that we're coming here, man? Why? Because he said he would. This is the book of Psalms 33 and 18. Behold, the eye of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah is upon them that fear him, upon them that hope in his mercy, to deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine, man. Mm. Our soul waiteth for Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. He is our help and our shield, man. Come on now. Come on. Isaiah 65. What did the Lord say, man? 65. My servants, my servants shall eat. eat. Yeah, you know, these are all precepts, man, to give us hope that when all hills break loose, the Lord gonna take care of his servants, man. So we ain't gotta worry about fleeing here, fleeing there, going. No, man. The Lord is gonna be our guide and our protection. That's it. That's that second address 16. If you, if you, if you, I, I'll grab the 16 if you got some. I got, uh, I got it, just a couple. I got that Isaiah and then I got another one as well. It says uh, Isaiah 65 and 13. Therefore, thus said the Lord, uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, thy power. Behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Be, uh, like a nigga like that's going to be hungry. Why? Because he's doubting, man. He's going to be left out you there. You know? 
It says like a, uh, he's gonna be that Isaiah nine. He's gonna snack on his right arm. Uh, no, he's gonna snack on his right arm and go to his left because of the lack of food. Roughly paraphrasing, man. Because that nigga's doubting, man. You know, this is the power of heaven and earth. Come on now, things that we don't see, he's the power of. It says, uh, but he shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. And that's a nigga right there. And his followers that actually believe in him are going to be ashamed. Because he's, they're not trusting in the Holy One of Israel. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. And I got this one as, uh, as well. It says Isaiah 41 and 10. Uh, it says, fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy power. I will strengthen thee. Yeah, I will help thee. Yeah. It says, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness, man. And who's the right hand of the righteous? Who's sitting on the right hand of the Father, man? You can you can read that in Acts. When uh, yep. uh, Stephen was about to, uh, you know, give up the spirit, he saw Yahweh Shah in his right hand. You know, man, and Yahweh Shai said, I am with thee low into the ends of the world, man. So the Lord is there with us if we trust in him and believe in him, man. These things are written for, for our learning. So we can have that, that spirit, you know, and that trust in Yahweh Shai in those days, man. You know, it says, um, read one more, it says be verse 11. And all they that uh, were incest against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. So this dude's going to be confounded in that day, man. You know, well, that's going into uh, those uh, our enemies as well. Right. See, yep. when Esau come in with that great wrath, that's what incense me. He gonna come down with that great wrath, man, and he gonna be confounded, man, because the Lord gonna lift up the standard right. for his elect, man. You know, it says they shall be as nothing, and they that strived with thee shall perish, man. You know, so all our enemies, man, and he that dude right there, he's considered one of our enemies as well, man. Did, did we you ever know? start that uh, Isaiah sixty-five? Uh, yeah, I read it. Let me, let me go back. Wow, well, man, I, I, I totally blinked out for that. No, it's all good. You I know? can get it for you as well. Bible Kushab, you just read Isaiah it again. Isaiah 65 and 13, it says, there, Therefore said the Lord, Yahweh by Shimei Awashai, Behold, my servants shall eat, and ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servants shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Mm -hmm. And that ye is talking about this nigga, man. <laughs> and all those that follow him. The Lord's servants is going to eat, but them niggas is going to be hungry, man. You know, go ahead. But ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice. But ye shall be ashamed. That's it, man. So our hope is in Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man. You know? Hey, that brother that uh he had that testimony of, of, of his dream. And in his dream, he said, he said, what, what, what I'm doing these lessons for? Right. Yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah, out yeah. in the highways and hedges right. for? What about what why, why am I making my body as a living sacrifice? Like, bro, what are we doing these things for, bro? Says, uh, to go to Africa, nigga? Hell no, nah, bro. You know, but to back that up, this is the book of uh, Isaiah 33, and I'm going to start at 13. Hear ye that are afar off what I have done, and ye that are near, acknowledge my might. Hmm. See, we got to acknowledge the might, the power, the majesty of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. What it says, uh, with men, this is it's impossible, impossible, but with the Most High, all things are possible, man. The hell is this nigga talking about, bro? It says, verse 14, the sinners in Zion are afraid. That's showing you that nigga's a sinner, man. Oh, we got to go to Africa. We got to do this. This nigga casting fear, man, casting doubt. It says, the sinners in Zion are afraid. Fearfulness have surprised the hypocrites, the actors, man. That guy is a complete hip man. Man, it's gonna, and it's going to be manifested as such. He's acting. Who among us shall dwell with the devouring fire? Who among us shall dwell with everlasting burnings? He that walketh righteously and speaketh uprightly, he that despiseth the gain of oppressions, that shaketh his hands from holding of bribes, that stoppeth his ears from hearing of blood, and shutteth his eyes from seeing evil, he shall so so right, so it's talking about what? A character, a character, man. Some of things we have to perform that we have to do is some of the mentality and mindset, right? Verse 16, the man uh, uh, that does these things, he shall dwell on high, right? His place of defense shall be the munitions of rocks. Bread shall be given him. His waters shall be sure, man. Come on now. That's the promise. Bro, these, bro, the brother put on a comment board earlier, Numbers 23. It says that uh, the Most High is not a man that he, he should lie, neither the Son of Man that he should repent. 
If he's spoken it, shall he not make it good? Right. In Hebrews, the sixth chapter, it says to, uh, it speaks about the immutability of the Lord's counsel and how he was more willing to show unto the heirs of promise the immutability of his, man, I got to get that, man. Because I think I just, I, I just butchered it. You got something like that? If not, I, I got something real quick. Well, I'll just grab this, bro. Go ahead, go ahead. This is uh, Hebrews 6 and verse 17. We're in the most high willing more abundantly to show unto the heirs of promise the immutability of his counsel confirmed it by an oath. That word immutability means unalterable, unchangeable. So what the, what the Lord said, he's, he's going to perform these things, man. That's the faith of Abraham. Mm -hmm. Did not Abraham believe what the Most High spoke that he was able to perform? Right. Well, we got to believe that the Lord is going to perform these things. Ever sure confidence, bro. You know? Ever sure confidence. It says, verse 18, that by two immutable things in which it was impossible for the Most High to lie. Come on, man. Hmm. Just that, that, that alone, like, oh, yeah, well, the Lord going to keep his word, right? We might have a strong consolation who have fled for refuge to lay hold upon the hope set before us, which hope we have as an anchor of the soul. Stability. That's that stability, right? It mm. was holds us down, both sure and steadfast, and which entereth in, in which entereth into that within the veil, whither the forerunner is for us entered, even Yahweh Shai. Made in high priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. So Yahweh Shah is that anchor that's going to hold us down, man. Mm -hmm. And he comes in a volume of the book, so it's these precepts. That's it. You know? But y'all brothers got what y'all got. Con, uh, I'll get this one in Matthew 6. The, the points in... Uh, Con, it's the points much. in uh, 33, but I want to get the whole content. I'll just read real quickly. It says, uh, Matthew 6 and 25, it says, Therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink. Nor ye, nor yet your, for ye, Shalaki, let me read that again. Nor yet for your body, what ye shall, shall put work. on, mm -hmm. it is, uh, is not the life more than me. It says, and the body more than raiment. So he's asking these questions, right? So the, the, the Lord's saying basically, don't take thought of those things, man. You know, he's, he's going to further explain when you read down. It says, verse 26, it says, behold, the fowls of the air, uh, it says, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns. Yet your heavenly father feedeth them. Are you not much better than they? So, hey, these things that like birds and animals and things that, you know what I'm saying? Like they, they go up out their day and the Lord feeds them, man. Yeah. Psalms 104 you know? says every creature mm -hmm. on this yep. earth waited Wait. for the Lord to uh, to Come feed on, them, though. man. And once again, Yahweh Shai, the anchor, <laughs> right? right? Our hope is telling us how much mm -hmm. better we are than these birds that the Lord feed daily. <laughs> right. It says, verse 27, which of you, by taking thought, can add one cubit unto his stature? And why take ye thought for raven? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow, they toil not, neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. <laughs> and we were going to class yesterday with that. But come verse 30, it says, wherefore, if Yahweh so clothed the grass of the field, is which good. is to, uh, what today is and tomorrow is cast into the oven. Look how the Lord do. Uh, made America. Before Esau came over here and fucking laid down concrete and all this bullshit, but just how luscious and beautiful America was, bro. You know? Old in the rivers. Like, come on. You see what I'm saying? If the Lord took his time and beautified that land, how much more us? It says what? That he clothed the grass, which is today, and tomorrow will be cast into the yeah, oven. Meaning it's going to be destroyed with nuclear fire. How much more, bro? But go ahead. He says, shall he not much more clothe you, O ye of little faith? You know, <laughs> and that nigga's pushing doubt. Right? It says, verse uh, 31. Therefore, take no thought, saying what, you we, sh uh, what we shall eat or what we shall drink or with, with all shall, ye be, shall we be clothed. So... The Lord's asking, he's asking like, wow, don't doubt, man. You know, I'll give you that sound mind. I already promised you that I was going to give you uh, food in the time of famine. Drink like that Isaiah 65. It says verse 32, for after all these things do the Gentiles seek for your heavenly father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. 
It says, but seek ye first the kingdom of Yahweh and righteous and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Yeah. So that's a promise. The Lord said, if we can, can continue in his word, that he's going to give us these things, man. You know, we're, we're not supposed to be think, uh, thinking about uh, food, water, raiment. Why? Because we're seeking the kingdom of heaven first. All right. The Lord gives a hey, man. The Lord gives you all. Uh, gives you all in uh, what is it? I in due season. Yeah. You know. Well, that, that's what gives you the confidence, that's man. That's it. Just that's what gives you the confidence. Like uh, like the brother was talking a while ago about uh that documentary with with Kobe, right? The uh, the Dream Team, and they were talking about how when they're put in these difficult situations and everybody got their eyes on them and it seems like the world is collapsing on them, that they ready for it because that's what they practice. That's what they're built for. So they have the confidence going into that battle, going into those moments that they that they got it. And it's the same thing through the spirit. See, because when the time of Jacob's trouble comes, the men that have been relying on Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah are going to stand on these precepts. They're going to trust in the Lord, right? And yeah, the scriptures talk about uh, um, that they, they lay up for themselves a good treasure against the day of evil for that day, you know? I think that's a... First Timothy six, right? So, so, so this work that's being put, like, like you said, that brother that had his dream. Well, what you think I was doing them lessons for? What you think I was suffering for? What you think I was? It, 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 hey, it's all leading up to that game, man. Huh? That 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 time of Jacob's trouble. I want to grab this real quick, just a staple. This is Sirach chapter two and verse ten. I'm gonna read down a little bit. <laughs> it says, <laughs> it says, look at the generations of old. You said one. Look at the generations of old. Nah, because the brother read that earlier. But go ahead, go 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 ahead. Okay, it says, and see, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded, or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken, or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? It says, for the Lord is full of compassion and mercy, long suffering and very pitiful, and forgiveth sins and saveth in time of affliction. Going back to what? Uh, uh, called to remembrance the former days, you know, the acts that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh has done for our forefathers, has done for us. It says, whoa. It says, Woe be unto fearful hearts and faint hands and the sinner that goeth two ways. And with you pushing fear, with you pushing that doubt into Jake, that's fear, man. You're pushing fear unto the congregation, unto the nation of Israel. It says, Woe unto him that is faint hearted, for he believeth not. And that's exactly what we're seeing. This, this, this man does not believe in the Bible, man. Okay, you're, you're teaching that we Israelites this and that, but you don't believe what's written in these scriptures. You know, these are basic, uh, you could say this is milk. You could say this is milk, that the Lord's gonna defend us, that he's gonna provide for us, right? It says, for he believeth not, therefore shall he not be defended. Woe unto you that have lost patience, and what will ye do when the Lord shall visit you? They that fear Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai will not disobey his word, and they that love him will keep his ways. You know, but that's that's it. it. Woe unto him that the Lord's going to visit him. He don't think there's a punishment right now for pushing doubt. But when that day comes, man, you're going to remember what you've done, man. You know? This is the book of First Kings 19. I'm going to start at verse 5. Now, when you go into the backdrop of the story, uh, Elijah, right, was being persecuted by Ahab and Jezebel, man. Mm. You know, and the persecution is going to ramp up yeah. here on us as well. But what was taking place, man? The Lord was preserving Elijah, right? This verse 5. And as he lay and slept under a juniper tree, behold, then an angel touched him and said unto him, Arise and eat. Hmm. And he looked, and behold, there was a cake baking on the coals and a cruise of water at his head. And he did eat and drink and laid him down again. So here it is. An angel came and, 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 and prepared food for Elijah, man, and gave him something to drink, man. Come on. Just like how the Lord had uh, Habakkuk. Habakkuk. Right. Go to Daniel. Go to Daniel, man. <laughs> Bro, come on. Dude. See, these things are written for our learning, and Hab right? Habakkuk didn't know. where He said, I don't know where ba like, I don't know where uh, Daniel let, is let, in let, Babylon. Just grab it. Grab Come it. On. It's verse 7. And the angel of Yahweh Basham Yahweh came again the second time and touched him and said, Arise and eat because the journey is too great for thee. <laughs> and he arose and did eat and drink and went in the strength of that meat. 40 days and 40 nights unto Horeb, the mount of the heavenly father, man. So the Lord can have us eat a meal and that meal he can have sustain us, man. For however long the Lord allows it to, man. Yeah. 
You see? Which again, is going back to not limiting the Lord. Yeah, bro, nothing is impossible. All things are possible with Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, man. And this is what we're what, what, what we're uh, 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 teaching, what we're bringing to our people, man. Because this is what we're instructed to tell our people. It says, comfort ye, comfort ye, my people, man. This is part of the comfort, man. That the Lord is going to protect us. We repent and, and turn ourselves to him with all our heart, man. He's going to guide us and protect us, man. Hey, that's that second Andrew 16. I grabbed that. I'm holding it. This second Andrew 16 and uh, 74. It says, Hear, O ye, my beloved, saith the Lord, Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Mm. Ain't that says it in Jeremiah 30 and 7? The time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be delivered out of it, man. It speaks about in Daniel 12, how Michael going to stand up, the great prince. Like, come on, man. These precepts, man. Verse 75, be ye not afraid, neither doubt, <laughs> for the Most High is your God, and the God of them who keep my commandments and precepts, saith the Lord, power. Let not your sins weigh you down, and let not your iniquities lift up themselves, neither man. Doubt. You see? So the Lord is our God, man. He's going to guide us in the way that we should go. He's going to guide us to food, to water, to yeah. different resources that we need, man. He's going to sustain us. Ooh. You know? I got that account. It says, uh, Bell and the Dragon 1 and 33. It says, Now there was a jury, a prophet called Habakkuk, who had made pottage and had broken bread and a bowl and was going into the fields for uh, to bring it to bring it to the reapers. But the angel of the Lord said unto Habakkuk, Go, carry the dinner that thou hast into Babylon unto Daniel, who was in the lion's den. And Habakkuk said, Lord, I never saw Babylon, neither do I know where the den is. Then the angel of the Lord took him by the crown and bare him by the hair of his head and, and through the vehemency of the his spirit set him in Babylon over the den. And Habakkuk cried, saying, O Daniel, Daniel, take the dinner which Yahweh has sent thee. And Daniel said, Thou hast remembered me, O Yahweh. Neither hast thou forsaken them that seek thee and love thee. Like, come on now, man. You know, an angel took Habakkuk and, 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 and fed Daniel, man. And Daniel went, uh, he, he was in the lion's den, man. Come on now, imagine and picture that, man. That... that like, if you think about it like shit, like an angel took, come on now, man. That's the hope that we have, man. All right, it says verse um, uh, 39, it says, So Daniel arose and did eat. And the angel of the Lord set Habakkuk in his own place again immediately. Mm -hmm. You know, so, hey, he transported him, man. Like, come on, we read these things. Come on, we're, we're supposed to have hope, man. The Lord can do anything. Well, it ain't for him. Like, you know, it man, ain't for him, man. You know? Good. And he and he's the opposition that the Lord has set up, right? To push doubt, man. Yeah. So that the undesirables can get weeded out, man. Yeah. And our job is to what? As defenders of the faith, once again, as looking over the flock, our job is to instill that hope through the Holy Spirit. Hmm. You know? Into our people who was who are what? Who are listening, man. Right? But this is um Nehemiah 9. We had read that uh that Psalms about how they limit the Lord the Lord in the wilderness. Check this out, right? Even while the Lord was able to do this, they still limited him, right? This Nehemiah 9 and 21. Yea, 40 years didst thou sustain them in the wilderness so that they lacked nothing. Their clothes waxed not old and their feet swelled not, man. Come on now, bro. Look how the Lord sustained us in the wilderness, but yet they still limited him, man. This is Psalms 3 and 5. I laid me down and slept. I awaked. For Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah sustained me. Now I'm reading these different precepts with sustain because I'm finna go into this word, man. Psalms 55 and 22. Cast thy burden upon Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. So when you go into that word sustain on the Edomon online, it's late 13th century. It says, uh, sustaining. Provide the necessities of life. Damn. Damn. He sustained us. He's going to keep us alive, bro. It says, give support to, to support physically, hold up or upright, give assistance to, keep going. 
So when it says sustain us, the Lord is able to keep us going, man. Keep us alive. Keep He's alive. able to what? Give us what's needed in order to keep us alive. Come on now, bro. There's, bro, bro, bro. They, bro, all the words is here, man. You know? The book is here. This is the book of life. This is the instructions that the Lord has given us, man, that we should hold firm unto, man. Hell yeah. You know? This is our rock, man, and we standing on it. First life. You know? But that's that. That's it. If y'all brothers got anything else, yeah, I'll grab this one just quick. Uh, it says Psalms chapter three and verse two: Many there be which say of my soul, there is no help for him in the Most High. Salah. Yeah, and that's exactly what he's saying, man. There, there ain't no help for us. Hey, if if you don't go over there, then you gonna then you gonna be through. No, man. And hey, the, the the Lord is our help. It says, but thou, O Lord Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai are a shield for me my glory and the lifter up of mine head. I cried unto Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai with my voice and he heard me out of his holy hill. Salah. And they, the, the, the beauty about uh, going in to, to, to right, because this is a horrible time, Jacob's trouble, but the beauty, the bright side of it is that we're not alone, man. It's, we're not alone. The Lord said, uh, uh, hey, let not your hearts be troubled, neither let it be afraid. He said, well, I am with you even until the end of the world. So when we're going through all these things, hey, the Lord is there with us. The angels are there with us, man. It says, I cried unto the Lord with my voice and he heard me out of his holy hill. I laid me down and slept. I awaked for the Lord sustained me. You know, that's it. And the brother just went into that word sustain, man. Mm -hmm. Gave me the things necessary for life. Does it keep reading down a little bit? Come. It says... I'll read that part again. It says, I laid me down and slept, Psalms 3 and 5. I awaked, for Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shah sustained me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that have set themselves against me round about. Arise, O Lord Yahweh, save me, O my power, for thou hast smitten all mine enemies upon the cheekbone. That's it, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Bro, the Lord, the Lord gonna take care of us, man. So we have nothing to be afraid of, man. You know? And what's that? I believe that's Isaiah 51. Who is thou that should be afraid of a man that shall die? Yeah. And the son of man that shall be made as grass, as if he was ready to destroy, man. Hmm. You know? Yeah. So through the spirit and power of Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai, via the Holy Spirit, man, the Lord has instruct and instilled in us confidence, which that word confidence itself means with faith. So. You know, having faith in these words, having faith in the omnipotency of our, of our God, man. Mm -hmm. You know? I'm gonna finish this out. It says, Thou hast broken the teeth of the ungodly. Salvation belongeth unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Thy blessing is upon thy people. Salah. Mm. You know? So, sustenance, salvation, blessings, that's all of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. You know? And, the, and the, Lord, the Lord's word is faithful and true. He said, We're gonna be delivered out of Babylon and we're gonna have sustenance and, you know, we're, we're gonna have food and, and water. And all these things are, again, faithful and true, man. <laughs> that's it. And that Psalms 91 hit. That Psalms 91 hit, brother. You know, hey, but Lord will, we hope this was edifying. Thawad Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shah, for giving us the spirit to do this lesson. We're going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shah, Bahasham Rechakwadash, double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all you brothers preaching the gospel and truth and the sincerity, arms, and charity. Shalom, man. Hey, may you brothers have a, 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 a beautiful feast of dedication as well, man. Shalom. Shalom.